We're back. We are back. Let's see here. Audio check. Audio check. Sounds good. All right. So hello, everyone. I hope you are doing well. It is Saturday, and even though I can see myself on the, uh, the web browser here, it says I am offline. That is weird. Let me refresh. Have some nice cups of decaf coffee. Had some good sleep. My sleep schedule's been working out really well lately. Like after stream, maybe like two or three hours after stream, I'm out. <laughs> I'm asleep. Uh, so that's that's been really nice to get plenty of sleep for the, the following day so we can start right on time. And Ratika's here. Hello, Ratika. Welcome on in, Ratika. And Lorelai is also here. Welcome on in, Lorelai. Ah, and Ratika has also resubscribed. Wow. 17 months now, Ratika. Thank you very much. I do appreciate the financial... Uh, what would you call it? A form of financial appreciation. <laughs> Thank you. And Embert is also here with the Congo Rats. Thank you, Embert, for the Congo Rats. A little bit of the Congo Rats. It's, I guess... Either directed at Ritika, uh for his his contribution, or maybe it's directed to me for starting on time. <laughs> well, kind of close to on time. I was like five minutes behind, but pretty close. How are you all doing? I have plans tomorrow. <clears throat> it's one of the reasons I'm drinking decaf today. Don't want the uh, too much caffeine to keep me up. Well, tomorrow. I go to the... Am I allowed to say that? I think that's something I'll share in the Discord. And, um... Next Wednesday's stream. Am I... Like, now I might risk doxing myself, so... I'll leave that for later. <clears throat> but you'll know where I've been. Uh... Perhaps Monday. I guess I have plans tomorrow. Uh, Ember says, doing well, you? That's good, Ember. I am glad. I'm glad you're doing well, and I'm glad to see you here. Uh, I'm excited. I'm jazzed, energized to get back to Dark Souls 3. Uh, and uh, let's see here. We should be taking down between three to four bosses today. So... I am excited. Uh, will we make all four? I don't know. We should be able to knock out three pretty easily. But we'll see. We'll see. <sighs> but before I get too far in, let me go through the opening announcements as usual. And then I will recap what uh, we did yesterday and then what are the uh, specific plans today. So... Welcome again, everyone. For those who do not know, I am your host, Old Orpheo. I am a variety streamer here on Twitch, in addition to being a YouTuber. I stream five days a week, and I have three primary stream themes throughout the week. Uh, though we might be, we might be sort of edging in an extra one, more like half of one, but that's something we will talk about on Wednesday. Um, and uh, those stream themes are... Mondays, we have the Monday Mishmash. And for the Monday Mishmash, we can play any game from any genre. It's a mishmash of genres. And, uh, yeah, so do expect all manner of variety from us on Mondays. The only genre that we do not play uh, games from are role-playing games. We'll have to save those for later on in the week. Uh, generally speaking, RPGs are uh, more in-depth. Uh, games require a lot longer uh, to complete. And so that's where we like to devote more time to them, uh, as opposed to the Monday games, which are generally short, not always. Yakuza 0 is proving to be a lengthy one. But, um, yeah, generally our Monday games are more bite-sized compared to role-playing games. 
Um, Wednesdays, we have our weekly just chatting stream called Community Chat and Gaming News, during which we go over community updates, gaming news, and game releases for the week. And then Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, we have RPG Afternoons. So if you do like role-playing games, then those are the days for you. So if any of those stream themes are of interest to you, then I encourage you to drop me a follow and hope to see you sometime during the week. And with our opening announcements now out of the way, let me log in. <sighs> as we are uh, resume, not resume, as we begin today's stream of the day. So again, we are here for RPG Afternoons, and this is Dark Souls 3 from From Software. So what did we do yesterday? And what are the specific plans today? Well, yesterday, we got through... Let me pull up the browser. Yesterday, we continued from where we left off on Thursday, which was just after beating the Deacons of the Deep within the Cathedral of the Deep. So we made our way through Faron's Keep, uh, the Catacombs of Carthus, Smoldering Lake, and Irithil of the Boreal Valley. Leaving off at the very first bonfire of Anorlando. Uh, we also finished, well I can't say we, I don't think we necessarily kind of finished, um, Yuria's side quest. So we are on our way to the, the, um, Usurpation of Dark Ending. And uh, today, the specific plans are to make our way through... Let's see here. Okay. Make our way through Anorlando, which is generally pretty... I mean, it's pretty short. This is not your Dark Souls 1 Anorlando. Dark Souls 3 Anorlando is very small. Uh, so to make our th way through there, and... Uh, Defeat Aldrich, Devourer of Gods. Then, go into the the Nightmare Horror Realm that is known as Irithil Dungeon. Though I will have to make the run to Irithil Dungeon's bonfires, as I have not lit those yet. Um, again, past Sullivan's Beast. Fun. Uh, and uh, we'll go through there and enter into the Profaned Capital. To defeat Yorm the Giant. Uh, while we're there, we can also see if we can rescue Onion Bro. And then that should teleport me into the boss fight right afterwards uh, to Dancer of the Burial Valley. And similar to our standard new game playthrough, uh, as soon as I load in and watch the cinematic, because it is a nice cinematic, I do enjoy cinematics in this game and pretty much in most games, uh, I will use the Coiled Sword Fragment to warp out. And then we can all meet right in front of the uh, the boss door in, at the high wall of Lothric. And we can all march in and fight the dancer together. So those are the, the base things I would like to accomplish. If we do have the time to knock out one more location and one more boss, well, technically two more bosses, but I would solo one of the bosses because it's so easy, kind of. Uh, would be to venture into the Arch Dragon Peak. I mean, we're going to be uh, making our way through Irithil Dungeon anyway, so why not? Um, so yeah, go to Arch Dragon Peak. Uh, that would be our last destination again if we have time. And uh, I'll try to solo the Wyvern, the Ancient Wyvern. Because it's not that hard. It's it's a one-hit boss. It's a one-hit kill. So you just have to survive by running through the city and trying not to get ambushed and murdered by everything. But if you can do that, then you can just run up all the way around, climb down the ladder, and just conk him on the head. Um, then we can all fight the Nameless King together. That'll be fun. So those are the, uh, the plans. Let me catch up with chat. You may also ask, well, if that's the plan, then why are you back? Some of you may know where I am. Why are you back at uh, the Pontiff Sullivan's bonfire? Well, there is a reason for that. I missed something yesterday. 
So what did I miss? I missed um, a ring that I have to collect for uh, the Collect All Rings trophy. And the ring is supposed to be up there somewhere. So it shouldn't be too hard. Just run outside, take a couple lefts, go up the stairs. And that is where... The Ring of Favor plus one is. I don't know where it is up there, but there's not a lot of stuff up there, and there's only one enemy, uh, and that's the Mimic Chest, and I don't even think it's in the Mimic Chest, so I'll just leave that alone. So, yeah. We're starting here, and then uh, we shall move onward to those other locations. All right, let me scroll up in chat here. Larlai is currently on a three-stream streak. Thank you, Larlai. I appreciate the consistent viewership. And Embert is also on a three-stream streak. Thank you as well, Embert, for the consistent viewership. Jackpot, yes. And Ghostop is here. Welcome back, Ghostop. Good to see you again. Ritika says, I'll go make some coffee and do the dishes so burb. Gotcha, Ritika, gotcha. Speaking of burb, we should have an ad starting about now. Uh, so thank you for sticking around to support the show. I shall sip my coffee as Ratika brews his. And um, <clears throat> I'll have a look, uh, consult uh, during the ad or um, the location of other spell scrolls, other rings, and uh, some of the bosses that we're going to fight. Okay. Let's see. For those who can still hear me and see me. Let's see. In the areas that we're going today. And this is assuming we don't make it to Arch Dragon Peak. Um, there are three rings that can be collected. So there's the Ring of Favor plus one, which is here. There is the... Covetous Silver Serpent Ring plus one, which should be in the Etherthil dungeon. And then there is the Flame Stone Plate Ring plus one, which should be in the Profaned Capital. As far as uh, spell scrolls that we need to collect, um, let's see here. We have all Pyromancies. We're not going to be able to finish off our sorceries until we get to Lothric Castle. Um, we should be getting the Learn All Miracles trophy today uh, in Etherfield Dungeon. I do want to rescue Carla. We'll have to go past her, her cell uh, into the Profaned Capital to fetch the key and then come back. I don't remember where her key is, though, uh, but we'll have to go in there and then go back and, and let her out of the cell. And all the gestures are done. So really, it's just... Keep an eye open for three rings, one in each location, and then rescue Carla when we can. And that's about it. Now, if we do get, as I said before, if we do get into Arch Dragon Peak, then yes, we'll tack more things on to that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how people are feeling. If people have the, the time and the energy to tackle it, then we'll tackle it. Just a moment. Okay. So, let me pop in my earbuds. I will turn on the music. And we will begin. Let's see here. And now for a magical summary of the chat's recent whispers. Lorelei's emote game is strong, summoning the spirit of Deadpool. Ratika graces us with a 17-month sub-anniversary, sparking energy. Ratika plans a brief intermission for coffee and dish duty. Meanwhile, Orfeo has conjured an RPG afternoon in the realm of Dark Souls 3. Greetings fly like droves as Embered and Ghost Op exchange pleasantries. Oof. And that's the chat so far. 
I do like these new features that uh, Frost, the Frosty Bot, has been introducing. Is this the right? Okay, yeah. I always have to check. I can never remember. Okay. Like, which earbud goes in which ear? Alrighty. Again, this is co-op. So if anyone wants to join, uh, you're more than welcome to. Uh, just for this um, fetching of the ring, uh, I'll just do this solo because it's a short run. And then if you want, uh, we can meet at the bonfire of Anorlando. Also, I was in the game earlier today, and I had some thoughts. I think I have discovered, and I wasn't looking for it, and I'm going the wrong way. Uh, this way. Um, I think I have discovered my favorite enemy in Dark Souls 3. Not my favorite boss, but my favorite enemy. Non-boss enemy. And I think they're actually the Silver Knights of Anorlando. Specifically, very specifically, the two knights that descend the stairs uh, as you're trying to climb them in uh, in Anorlando. And I think that's because I had to farm them so much to get the severed ears I needed, the proof of concords, uh, in order to, to raise my rank with the Dark Moon Covenant. Um, when I first tried to farm those silver knights uh they would they were massacring me <clears throat> it was brutal like i don't do my farming on stream um because i i think maybe just you know i mean i i can see like is it just a chill stream but some people want to see like story progression or something else i understand that and so they might see it as boring oh there's an item over here uh, so I do that off stream, but off stream, I will tell you, they murdered me. Uh, it, was, it was rough. Um, but after a while, I learned. I learned what I was doing. I learned how to, to sort of counter them. And it became fun for me. And so that's sort of how they became my favorite uh, non-boss enemies in the game. And sometimes, not all the time... But usually now, I can actually beat the Silver Knights on the stairs of Enerlando. Um, ow. Without getting hit at all. And uh, I almost feel like I, I impress myself when I can pull that off. Oh, I thought they were about to knock me over the edge. I'm not trying to fight them. I could go that way and open this shortcut door, but eh. I probably will do... No. I probably will do that in... Um, nope. Oh, they got me anyway. I probably will do that in... Uh, oh, Crystal Lizard. In uh, New Game Plus Plus, because that will be our final playthrough. And I would like everything to be unlocked in New Game Plus Plus. Uh, because who knows, I might want to revisit Dark Souls one day, and if I... Well, Dark Souls 3 specifically one day. Uh, and if I do, then I would like to uh, to have everything unlocked just so I can run around and sightsee. Um, but, uh... For this playthrough, because I know it's not going to be our final playthrough, I don't care if, if some things are left undone. Uh, the main reason why we're here and why we're doing all this is... To pursue the Platinum Trophy. And, uh... Yeah, it's not, it's not to be permanent. Since we are going to reset the world eventually. And again, welcome back everyone from the ads. Not sure if I said that before. If I didn't, welcome back from the ads. Hmm. Ah, Kilometer is here. Hello, Kilometer. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Oh. Oh, there it is. Ring of favor plus one. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. I know there's other items about. There's a mimic chest over there. 
But I don't need any of that. I'm just... I just wanted the ring. That's it. All right. Let me get my pen and scratch the ring off the card here. That's it. Ring of favor plus one. At Pontiff Sullivan. Okay. Now, headed up to An Orlando's bonfire. Where'd the bonfire go? There it is. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I never really stopped to just look at these statues. Hmm. Okay. Travel to An Orlando. So the only thing that we have to do here in An Orlando is beat the boss. We don't have to loot anything. Uh, we don't have to um, collect any scrolls. Uh, all we have to do is just get inside, beat the boss, we're done. So, will anyone be joining me for the fight? Welcome back, Ratita. Let me, oh, nope, 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 hold on. Tears of denial. We're like almost halfway through our second playthrough and I still have to remind myself on occasion to use tears of denial. You can? Very well. I'll be changing up my hammer. Uh, the reason I'm using this now is because I have looked up the weaknesses of the Silver Knights. And I know them to be... Oh, that was a backstab. I might, I might be in trouble now. Um. Oh. And I know them to be uh, frost, and so that's why I'm using my frost hammer. That could have gone a lot better. <laughs> I was just saying earlier. Usually I can fight these guys, it's no problem. I you don't take damage at all, usually. Alright. There we go. Sometimes the backstab animations get me because they can get out of the backstab animations. But when it doesn't happen, they're pretty easy for me to kill. When the guy dashes at you, which he doesn't always, but most of the time, you can always just kind of like roll up into the side and then get behind him. And then with that guy, he's pretty easy. As soon as he starts running at you down the stairs, you have just enough time, if you're two-handing a weapon, or maybe even one-handing a weapon, uh, to go for a charge attack, a full-on charge, and then that slams him into the ground. And since you have the low ground, even though he's flat against the ground, you can still just quick attack, and uh, you'll still hit him laying on the ground, and he'll die. So, very, uh, very convenient there. I'm going to ignore that one. I don't need that one. Uh, so I'll go around. I'll see if I can open the shortcut. I know there is going to be a deep accursed following me. I'm not looking forward to that. Let's get the fire hammer ready. Uh, I think the rest of the enemies in here are weak to fire. Um, but uh, I think the boss 
Giant's Coal Forefriend uh, is also weak to fire. So for those of you wanting to prepare early for Aldrich, it uh, looks like he's weak to both fire and lightning. So I'll be using fire, um, but use what you think uh, would be best for you. Am I too? I am two-handing. Okay. I'm not going to try to fight anything. I'm just going to try to run in, uh, push the lever to open the front door, and get out of here. The, uh, the pyromancers, I always have to roll sooner than I would think that I actually have to. I know that Deeper Curse doesn't respawn. Which is why I kind of want to take care of this first. Kind of surprised he missed me there. There we go. You're scary, aren't you? And you're very resistant to lightning, too. <gasps> you can stagger these? Oh, not for long. Oh. Yes! I think that's the first time we've ever done that. Aldrich's Ruby. We have that already. Okay. So will anyone be meeting me here at the bonfire? Kilmir says the Silver Knight at the top of the stairs is so funny to parry. It's very reminiscent of when Gwen or Gwen launches at you when you first enter his boss room. That is a rough fight for me. Gwen was very, very hard for me. Yeah, I would say for me, Gwen, at least on my first playthrough, it kind of differed from like New Game Plus to New Game Plus Plus, etc. But on my first playthrough, Gwen was the hardest boss for me in Dark Souls 1. And even in New Game Plus and Plus Plus, etc., he still always remained a hard boss for me. Um, there were other bosses that kind of had their position shifted around. Like, I think in New Game Plus and New Game Plus, oh, I'm sorry, in Standard New Game and in New Game Plus, um, the Four Knights, not Four Knights, the, um, the Four Kings, I was able to kill pretty easily. Um, but when it came to New Game Plus Plus, it was brutal. I think it took like, I don't even know how long. I want to say it took like over an hour to beat them. Maybe, maybe like two hours to beat them. Uh, it was so rough. Uh, but beating the first two times was pretty easy. Uh, but yeah, that... I want to say maybe that playthrough, the New Game Plus Plus playthrough, they were probably the hardest boss for me in the whole game. And then, like, New Game Plus Plus Plus, they went back to being easy. I don't know why, but... Okay. <sighs> also, how's your day going? Day is going well, kill meter. Had some good sleeps last night, enjoying some good coffee right now. Had a good breakfast. I, uh... Had, like, two handfuls of red grapes. Nice, cool, sweet, delicious. And then my sister dropped by. She was in the area. And uh, she went out to a restaurant, had herself uh, an early lunch. And uh, she gave me her leftovers. So grateful for that. It was like half a burger and uh, like a small serving of some seasoned cheese fries. So quite nice. <laughs> Remind you that the Four Kings are a thing.
You're gonna beat them at level five? Oh, you're doing like a, well, not it's not soul level one, but you're like picking a class and you're doing you're basically doing like a no level run. Sounds like a good day so far. It is indeed. And then I have all of you fine people here in stream to uh, to keep me company and to play with. Um, and we have the fun game that is Dark Souls Three. Let me switch back to my fire hammer. And we are ready. Let me know when you are in the area. And I will... S Actually, I have to ember to summon, don't I? I do. Ember restored! Okay, now I'll summon. <laughs> You know, I was asked this question yesterday. And Beezers is here. Hello, Beezers. Welcome, welcome. Millimeter says, yes. Bandit run. Oh. Interesting, Kilometer. Interesting. And who do we have here? This, uh, uh, I believe this is Ghost Op. Yes. Summoning in. I was asked this question yesterday. What is my favorite hammer in the game? And I said it's either like Vort's Great Hammer or the Gargoyle Flame Hammer. I actually thought more about that question. I think it really is the Gargoyle Flame Hammer. Um, I really, really enjoy Vort's. And I love the look of it. And I would say until I obtained Gargoyle Flame Hammer, it was my favorite. But I just really love the look, like the polished silver look of the gargoyle flame hammer, the crackle of the fire, how appropriate it is uh, when I like two hand it and walk with it while guarding. It looks like a sort of like a, a church procession here in my cleric garb. I think it looks really cool. Also, welcome on in, Ghost Op. Me, there we go. Yes, we shall be victorious this day. Oh, he's got the, uh, the Watchdogs of Faron emote there. Oh, is that, is that Henri's straight sword? Or is that, what is it called? The other one that looks like Henri's. I think it also starts with an A. Oh, I don't remember it now, though. We used it for our first... Almost our first full playthrough of Dark Souls 1. I say almost because you don't start with the weapon in Dark Souls 1. You have to fetch it from near that poison dragon. Astor. Yes! Thank you, Beezers. The Astora sword. I'm guessing it's Astora that Ghost Op has because he's wearing the full Dark Souls 1 outfit, which is the Elite Knight armor set. Oh, he's even rocking the, uh, the Dragon Crest shield. I don't think... What's his name? Oscar? I don't think Oscar had that one. He had the standard crest shield. But his crest shield was indeed a crest shield, as was that one. What is that? Oh, that's the Ringed Knight Greatsword. Very deadly looking. So I think we have... Oh, it was Henri's. Okay. Ratika's dropped his sign. And Beezers may also be on the way. Oh, oh. I think this is a PvP area. Okay, so I'll pop the, um... Dry Finger. You may have to sit at the first encounter, Beezers. As Ratika is here. There we go. But we will uh, get you in the next location. It is, yeah. So I have learned yesterday from Jans that if you're in a PvP area, and a PvP area is kind of like an area that is uh, patrolled by a certain covenant, like I think this area is patrolled by um, the Aldrich Faithful, then uh, you can only normally summon one person. Unless you use a dried finger like I do, and then you can summon two. And Ratika's here! Oh, dressed as a true sunbrew. 
Oh, but he's using the dark sword. That's an interesting, an interesting change there. Welcome on in, Ratika. Kind of looks like we're rolling with the Dark Souls 1 crew. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Well, sometimes the uh, the built-in uh, speakers of the controllers are pretty neat. Have some cool features. Yes. Are we ready? We can just run straight through to the boss if you want. Uh... And kind of just uh, save our, our strength there. We could get to the top of the stairs. Not these stairs, but... We could get to the fog door right before Aldrich. And then I could buff us... Uh, with, um... Sacred Oath. And uh, then we could go into the boss fight together. We just gotta take out the Pyromancers guarding the stairs. Arr! All right, here we go. Sacred Oath. Yeah. Let's do this. Traversing the fog. Aldrich. Devourer of gods. You will devour no one else, Aldrich. You have been a very... Oh. You have been a very naughty boy. Slug creature. Whatever you are. Aldrich. Yes, and a sunlight medal. We have done it. We are indeed victorious. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Look at that. Ratika disappeared. We can still see his empty Estus getting shaken. I probably have the voice chat thing on. I'll see. Devours one god, and people hype him up. LOL. <laughs> and he didn't even digest Gwendolyn all the way. Uh, oh, did I even turn the music on? Oh, I did. Okay, good. Uh, where is it? The voice thing? Is it an audio? No. This? No? Voice chat is still restricted. Hmm. Are you also tuned? I mean, I don't know the full capabilities of the PlayStation 5. Are you also tuned into the, uh, the stream on the PS5? And maybe you're hearing it through there? Or maybe the restricted setting restricts what I can hear, but not what you can hear. Like, maybe you can still hear me talk when it's restricted, but, like, maybe I just can't hear you. I don't know. Oh, maybe because we're friends, you can hear me? Possibly. I know there's goodies up here, and I just want to collect them. I'm not going to use them. Um, but I can sell them for stuff. I think I need, like, just under 300,000 souls to level up. I wonder why the bonfire there disappeared. 
Maybe Aldridge ate it. Sun Princess Ring. Was that everything in here? Yeah, okay. All right. I will head back to... F I don't think there's anything else up here, right? No. In Dark Souls 1, there is. In Dark Souls 1, there is a suit of armor over there if you manage to uh, follow the full quest line of... Actually, no, I don't think you even have to do the last bit of the quest line of... Um, what's his name? The guy who kills the Firekeeper in Dark Souls 1. Um, you can still find his armor set up there. You just don't get his ring. Uh, let's go home. We're only like 40 minutes into stream. We've already knocked out one of the bosses in one of the locations. That was pretty quick. Okay. Uh, what can I do with the soul of Aldrich? Oh, oh, this way. Aha, thou returned. And a fine day it is. It is a fine day. So, happened upon any twisted souls? I think so. Alright, what can we get? The Life Hunt Scythe Miracle Scroll. The Dark Miracle Scroll. We got that in our standard new game playthrough. What else is uh, is on offer here? Ah, the Dark Moon Longbow. Interesting. I don't have enough decks to use it, but it's still interesting. Uh, magic Bow. Cool. Longbow of Dark Moon Gwendolyn, who is gradually devoured by Aldrich. This golden bow is imbued with powerful magic and is most impressive with moonlight arrows. Skill, Dark Moon Arrow. Infuse a readied arrow with Dark Moon Essence, granting it magic damage and the ability to pierce shields. That sounds pretty OP. So not only does your arrow pierce a shield, but it deals magic damage. And I'm guessing if you use like a... um. Maybe in addition to its physical damage. But I'm guessing if you use like a... Uh, a Moonlight Arrow, it probably just makes the Moonlight Arrow's magic uh, damage stronger. <laughs> 5,000 souls. Do it. Now, <sighs> do not be away over long. I'll try not to be. All right, let's put that away. Sunlight metal. And dark moon longbow. Sell that. Sell those. Put this away, ring of favor plus one. All right, we got some stuff to sell. Ah, well met, Ashen One. How may I be of service? So, tight night shards and large tight night shards. Silver knight armor. Sun Princess Ring and Aldrich's Ruby. Ashen One, be sure to bring more souls. <laughs> I think I have like any 200, like 298,000 to level up. Ooh, I remember correctly. So we need like, like 28,000 souls. I don't think Soul of an Old Hand is going to get us like 28,000 souls. I'll hold off on that. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um, yep, yeah, we're done with Anor Londo. 
Next up, the nightmare that is Irithil Dungeon. While there, the only thing we kind of have to do, we don't have to, but it would, it would be kind of cool to do it, is um, to fetch the old cell key to finish off Onion Bro's side quest. That way he could help us in addition to uh, just going in and fighting Yorm the Giant uh, once we get down into the profaned capital. But we have to, I think, actually have to make our way into the profaned capital, don't we? And then that somehow brings us back around into the Irithel dungeon. I think it's something like that. Okay. And I can't even warp right in there. If you all want to, you can wait for me at the bonfire. Excuse me. Of Irithel. Um... Or not Irithel, you can wait for me at the bonfire of, um... Irithel Dungeon. And I'll be there as quickly as I can. We didn't light the bonfire last time, so I have to make the run past the, uh, Sullivan's Beast. <sighs> trying to think of the fastest way to get there. Church of Yorshka. I think is the fastest way. Oh, you played some Destiny today? Very cool, Ortega. How was it going back? I'll keep the fire torch on. Oh, I own... Yeah, okay. Heading back to, uh, to fire, like real quick. I was thinking, like, I got two items from beating Aldrich. I don't remember what the second one is. The second one was the Cinders of a Lord. I forgot to place them upon the throne. From which boss? Aldrich. I think Aldrich is here. Yep. Offer cinders of a lord. There it is. Aldrich. There is a thought in the back of your mind. Should you just quit destiny for good? I mean, as long as you're having fun with it, go for it. There are some games I put a lot of time into as well. Destiny 1 was one of them. I played that for years and years. And uh, Bungie did a really, really great job. The graphics, the music the gameplay, the story, or at least the lore. Some people criticize the story, but I thought the lore at least was done pretty well. Um, ooh, painting Guardian. So I can understand why you would get pulled into Destiny. And... I'm not even into like the PvP aspect of it. I was good at the PvP aspect of it, but I didn't I didn't get into it. I just did it because I wanted some of the unique cool looking gear from the Iron Banner. I almost called it Iron Banana. Um 
I'm going the wrong way. But, yeah, there is a reason why why Destiny is uh, is so popular. The only reason I stopped was because Destiny 2 came out, and I wanted to continue to follow the game series because I loved the lore. But uh, Destiny 2 just didn't uh, please me as much as Destiny 1 did, and so I dropped Destiny 2 relatively quickly. Uh, and I tried going back to Destiny 1, but I just couldn't do it. Uh, I, In my opinion, I feel like most of the elements in Destiny 1 are superior to those in Destiny 2, with one exception, and those are the graphics. And after you see the graphics in Destiny 2 and you try to go back to Destiny 1, it's... It can be hard. <laughs> because when you first see Destiny 1, you're like, this game looks awesome. And then, like, once you, uh... Once you see Destiny 2, and then you go back to Destiny 1, you're like, these characters are kind of blocky. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. I can hear one of them sneaking up behind me. Do I have time to change my ring? Yep. Nice. Now go away. Green blossoms. Nice. Is he going to follow me down in the water? Oh, they are following me into the water. You know what? I hope Sullivan's beast spawns and eats you both. I don't know what this is about. This is kind of weird. I'm not angry at it, but it's weird. So I'm holding down the sprint button, and that's why my character's sprinting, but I'm, while I'm sprinting, I'm not losing stamina. That was weird. Wait, let me light the bonfire first. Let me not, not goof off. What was that? Oh, it's just the, the light reflecting from, I guess, the bonfire on the floor. Out of the corner of my eye, I thought that was a green summon sign. I was like, the green summon sign? Who has a green summon sign? What covenant is that? I think there's an item all the way over here. Oh, am I wrong? I might be wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, never mind. Alright, so I gotta go in there, down there, across the bridge, down those stairs, and uh, that's it. There's the bonfire. No, I'm not going back. There's an item right there. I don't remember what it is, but I'm not going for it. I have learned that the bulk of items in Dark Souls 3, like the random items you can collect, are not good items. <laughs> in Dark Souls 1, they are. But I think in Dark Souls 1, they are because there's so few items to begin with. Okay, so we got two people there. I know there's a, a like a frozen night guy around the left-hand corner. And then I think up those stairs comes a fire witch. And then there's more people hiding. Are they hiding through there? I thought maybe those walls are illusory. I don't know. I think I might just try to drop down here. See if I can avoid more combat. Oh, that's what it is. There's another area down there. Yeah, I'm just going to try to run for it. Nope. 
Hello. I forgot you can do that. That's why it's called an immolation tinder. Alva! Alva, be nice to me. Well, at least I lit the bonfire. Where is Alva? Alva, where are you? Let me bring in Beezers first. Let me swap my ring around. Hopefully I don't get stabbed by... Oh, here he comes! Naughty Alva! Naughty! Bad! Bad Alva! Some crazy sword swishes you got there, Alva. Where are you going? You trying to run? Why are you trying to run? Oh, 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 we got him. Oh. Dark spirit Alva, seeker of the spurned, has died. Oh, I got the Murakumo. I didn't have that before. Okay. Summoning the rest of you all. And just wait right there, Ratika, since this is a non-PVP area. Uh, I can use a dried finger to summon you in. Uh, so let me get a, a tinkle going. Okay. And dried finger. Summoning Ratika. Also, I... Th no, I'll stay with fire. And Chans is here! Welcome on in, Chans! I arrived just in time to see Ulva's defeat. Yes, yes you did, Chans. How are you doing today? Jans is also redeemed. Hello, I'm new to stream. Well, welcome on in, Jans, for the very first time. Again. Hope you're doing well. <sighs> We've been streaming now for less than one hour. We collected the ring um, that was missed in the Pontiff Sullivan area. Oh, she knows we're in here. That's not good. Oh, never mind. I didn't have time to throw a lightning bolt. Um, it was the Ring of Favor plus one. And then from there, uh, we went to uh, Anna Londo. And on the first try, oh, that was a good punch, though. Uh, on the first try, we beat Aldrich, Devourer of Gods. <laughs> That's always scary. Oh, one moment. I forgot. I need to see what uh, I need in here. Okay, I need the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring plus one. Let me see where that is real quick. Okay. While progressing through Irithel Dungeon, you'll find an elevator shortcut that heads to the first bonfire of the area. Okay, I know where that is. The ring is located in the elevator's room. In the room? I hope it's not the shaft. That'd be, that'd be irksome. Uh, Jan says, help some friends in Elden Ring. Magic-oriented area with giant hands for enemies. Oh. Let me... There we go. Night scale. Nice. Just a moment. I need to check something else out real quick. Itherthil. Andre. No. Sigurd. Okay. Done. So just keep our eyes open. And once we open the shortcut to the elevator area that leads back to the, um, 
I can ignore that area. Oh, oh, Ritika went down there though. I gotta go, gotta go help. Okay. We can, nope. <laughs> okay, we'll do it, we'll do it. Good job, Ritika. Yeah, he's staying in there. All right, we're heading over. Ritika and I... What was that? Oh, okay. Ritika and I cleared out this area, this side. We're heading your way. Oh, do you have bleed going on? Oh, you pulled up the torch. You're good. Okay. I was wondering, like, what popped on you. I thought something attacked you. Jan says, I remember the torture of not knowing the torch cleared the bleeding leeches. So if I didn't have any red moss, I'd be screwed. You know, I was thinking there, there are some things that I would change in this game. Not many. Really, not many. But there are some things. And, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna go over there. Oh, oh that works, though. Um, one of the things that I would change, if I could, would be... I thought that was illusory. I guess not. Um, would be that I would... Oh, he gets really hurt. Hold on. Uh, I would allow the gargoyle flame hammer to cure the maggots. Because it's essentially the same thing, it's a torch. So, I would think you should be able to use it the same way. Something else I would change. I don't know where these, I don't know where you guys are. Shortcut open, nice. Um, something else I would change is I would make the um, Jailbreaker's Key nice. I would make the, um, what is it called? The Guidance Miracle stronger. And... Where does this do? Oh, that's right, I remember. Um, I just want to run back real quick and open the door. Uh, we're not heading out there yet. Um... The way I would make it stronger is I would do two different things to it. The first thing I would do is if there's an illusory wall somewhere, um, I would uh, have there be like a special mark on the door. Like maybe there could just be like a shiny white light or maybe you could even see like through the illusory wall, like maybe it might become like a little bit transparent when you get next to it. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, and then the other thing I would do is if there is an invisible bridge, kind of like there's an invisible bridge to the covenant leader of the Dark Moon Blades, uh, I would let that bridge be shown. Like you wouldn't have to see the whole bridge. Maybe you could just see like the, uh, like some twinkles kind of 
glowing on the floor, something like that. That would be fine. I'm not going to go in there. I think that's a simple gem in there. Um, I think that would be pretty cool as well. And that would be true to uh, the spirit of the Miracle's name. Uh, guidance. You'd basically be receiving like divine guidance. You'd be able to see things that you wouldn't normally be able to see with the human eye. The invisible bridge and illusory walls. So I think that'd be really cool. Do we have to go? I guess we have to go to some extent through the profaned capital to get back here. I know we have to do that to get Onion Bro's key, but I didn't remember we have to do that to, uh, to get anything else. Oh, that's right. There's an item up there. The master jail key chain too, besides onion bro. We need the that key to, to save onion bro though, right? That's the key that opens his cell. And that's pretty close by. I remember I struggled finding how to... Trying to figure out how to get to Onion Bro in the Aerithal dungeon. I'm like, people said it's it's right near this guy I killed, but I can't... I can't find out where that is. And everyone was just... Everyone was like, just look around. The, the entry is like right in front of you. And I'm like, but I don't see anything. And it's just the... Like the door you have to jump through. I was like, oh... I thought that's where I came from. Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring. Beezers must be on a roll. Like... Oh, well, Ritika was over. Oh my goodness. That was scary. That was him. Um... There we go. No fall damage. Kind of expect that from Beezer, so Beezer is soul level one this whole game plus DLC, so it's not too surprising he's able to, to just run on through here. Onion Bros is another key. Mm -hmm. Wait on that. I thought that was an item. Oh, this is still the Irithil dungeon. Mr. Giant. I'm gonna... I'm gonna need you to wake up, Mr. Giant. I have to get through. Can you, uh... Can you wake up? Mr. Giant? Mr. Giant! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought I was casting the lightning bolt. Sleep. What? What is this? Ow. <laughs>
He didn't even care we were hitting him. He just wanted to get to sleep. Alright. And... Oh. He's gonna try to give you a heal there. His arm attacks are hard for you. That was the first time I fought him up here. Nice. Another soul of a champion. We'll get there, Ratika. We're gonna take a slightly longer way. Pickaxe. Once we drop down, can we get back up? I'm coming for you, Ratika. How dare you. Stop it! Uh-oh. Ah, <sighs> okay, the ring I need should be in this room here. I don't know where in this room, but it should be in this room. Uh-oh. Who died? Oh, ghost died. All right, shortcut open. So somewhere in here should be the ring. This is what I was worried about. It's got to be somewhere in the shaft then. There it is. I'll be there soon. You got two chased by two big rats and mimics. That's rough. Covetous silver serpent ring plus one. All right, that's it. That's the ring we needed. see here. What else is there to do here? Uh, nothing. Now we just have to make it through this area to the profane capital. I'm not gonna die from this, am I? Nope. Thanks to the fall ring. Okay. Uh, Okay. Alright, I'm coming. I opened the shortcut elevator to the first bonfire. And... Oops. I'm coming back. Oh, do you want me to summon you, ghost? You can meet me back at the... Uh... Oh, he can't hear me because... Oh, no, he might be able to hear me. Your summon's at the bonfire? Alright, I'm headed back to uh, to get ghost. Then we could just ride the elevator down together, and that'll, uh, save time catching up with, uh, Ratika and Beezers. You are being summoned, Ashen One. What hammer am I using? Lightning? I'll stay with that. 
Okay. So I know once we get into the profaned capital to battle Yorm the Giant, uh, he is weak to lightning. And it looks like that's it. So, yes. Uh, once we get back into a... We're not back into... Once we get to that boss fight, if you have any lightning gear, you may want to, uh, to equip that. Oh! <laughs> Careful! Oh, I guess you have the fall ring equipped. Okay, that's a much faster way to get down then. Fusion is here. Hello, Fusion. How are you doing? Fusion has redeemed... Ooh, I almost ran off the edge right there. <laughs> Fusion has redeemed. Hello, I'm new to stream. Well, welcome on in, Fusion, for the very first time. How are you today? And, uh... Fusion has also redeemed Hydrate very well. Cheers, Fusion. Ah... <sighs> Thank you for keeping me hydrated. What are you up to today, Fusion? Oh, it's dead. For me, the item isn't there. I did get arrows, though, but it was, uh, they were behind you. We're coming. I think Ghost is AFK. I think you had to get something or do something. But I am climbing a very long ladder. Okay. From a mimic room. I just saw silver. I didn't even see what it was. Okay. Oh! Oh. Oh. I got excited. I thought that light was a, uh, was an item. Ah, well. I'll leave it there. I don't need whatever that was. Catching up! Fusion says, Tarkov and liberate Helldivers when more of the squad gets on. What do you think, Fusion? Do you think Tarkov... Not Tarkov. Do you think um, Helldivers is going to be this year's game of the year? No? Do you think anything is in the running currently to be this year's game of the year? We got the old cell key. Oh, that's the key that... Oh, I forgot about this. Do you think anything is currently in the running for that? I think we can ignore them. Nice. Okay, never mind then. 
I was gonna run in there and and use the wrath of the gods weapon art. That's the second time I've seen someone just take damage out of nowhere. First time was Ratika, second time was me. Uh, Helldivers won't win for the simple fact the servers are dog poop. Aww. Oh. It'll win in other awards, but not Game of the Year. I see. Jan says, absolutely for me. I love Helldivers 2 so much already. I didn't know you had it, Jans. Ah, Lady Nilafar's here. Hello, Lady. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Jan says, everything I want. Co-op, guns, airstrikes, enemy bugs and robots, starship troopers, the game version. I love it. Oh, Jen says, mild-mannered Pate for life. I do like Pate. I actually, I know this is a controversial opinion to have in Souls, but I like Pate more than Patches. Ooh, Ember, nice. Patches is a scamp. You know he's a scamp. But knowing doesn't, I mean, he does try to get the player killed. He has his urges, as he says, but it's still... It can still be a bit irksome. Whereas Pate will actually tell you, like, hey, if you go that way, there's treasure, but there's also danger. Just to let you know. And it's, it's up to you whether or not you, you know, you go for it. Patches is true survivor. This is true. Fusion says Dragon's Dogma 2, Hellblade 2, Black Myth, and Stalker 2, as of now, are games that could be Game of the Year worthy, but that could is still small since they aren't out. Understandable. Jan says Pate is internally referred to as Patches, still in the game's IDs, and still referred to as Patches in the Japanese version. I didn't know about the Japanese version, but I did know he was still called Pate. Or not pay still called patches in the in the game's ID. But they did turn him into a fundamentally different character. Oh by the way, Stalker Games came out on PS4. I saw. I want to pick those up. Okay. Alright. So, uh, where am I going? Oh, okay. So if I go that way, if I go towards Ratika, that's the exit over to the profaned capital. But if I go run up the stairs over here, this is the entrance, which I would kind of like to unlock now, really, um, to uh, the dragon area. Though I'm not even sure I can go to the dragon area. Like, typically when you go from one area to the next, like, I don't think I can go there if I have people with me. Like, there's a fog door. But there's no fog door that goes to, uh, that prevents you from necessarily going to, um... The dragon... Pl Actually, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's proceed to the first bonfire of, um... Oh, forgot about that. Thank you. Uh, let's proceed to the first bonfire of, um... What is it called? The Profane Capital. I'll light the bonfire, but I won't rest. So everything stays dead. And then I'll come back and I'll warp via the dragon to Arch Dragon Peak, light that bonfire, and then we can all meet back up uh, 
uh, within the profaned capital and go from there. Jan says, he would have worn the Dark Souls 2 version of the hard leather set earlier in development. The set the warrior class starts with. Hmm. Paint set is in this game, too. And Jan says, you can absolutely go to the dragon area since you still have the gesture, but all phantoms must be gone. Yeah, I'll wait. We're still going to have to run over here and kill the uh, the first gargoyle guy. Um, But then after that, I'll come back. Beezers is the desert sorceress. Ratika looks a little like a gray rat there. With the, uh, the hat. Interesting that there's no fog door between Irithil Dungeon and, uh... Soul of a Venerable Old One. That there's no fog gate between Irithil Dungeon and the Profane Capital. Oh, you're all brave. You're just fighting right on the bridge. I never do that. Oh, Ratika has died. We will see you again, Ratika. Ratika sacrificed himself to help slay the gargoyle. It's always hard for me to see the ladder here. There it is. Oh, you fell? Oh. Undead bone shard. Was that a summon sign I heard? No? Okay. Oh, that is. Yes, bonfire has... Be oh, I thought I did that already. I really thought I did that already. Okay, there we go. Bonfire lit. Alright, I am going to head out. Well, I'm not going to head out, but I'm going to um, dismiss everyone, and we can meet back up here at the uh, the first bonfire for uh, the profaned capital. Since we're here and it's safe, I am going to uh, run back across this bridge and... Do the, um, the Arch Dragon Peak, uh, teleport. Then once I get there, I will light first bonfire, and then I'll come back, and we can go from there. Another ember. Yes. To secure the first arch dragon bonfire. Where am I going? Going this way. Okay. 
Oh. All right, path of the dragon. A summon sign should be there to help you clear the path. Is that you, Jans? It sounds like Jans may help me clear the path to the first bonfire, and then uh, I shall meet you all back at the uh, first bonfire to what is it called? The profane capital. We're gonna do something specific with the profane capital, though, uh, if we can. Uh, and that will be to go through the profaned capital. Uh, well, no, I guess we could just go kill the boss. The boss is actually really, really close um, to the bonfire. Uh, but I also need a ring. Uh... In the profane capital, and I think I know where it is. I passed it? Okay. Not here, you think. A summon sign should be there to help you clear the path. Alright. I'll look. I feel bad every time I knock down one of these little stone pillars. Like whoever it was took a took a while to oh what is this Veliger, and it's a yellow sign so he's not a mad bro anymore. I clicked it. Okay. Phantom Veliger summoned. Yeah, he's not purple. Welcome in, Veliger. Those are pretty swords he has. Gold hilts. All right, we can do this, Veliger. This is a lightning gem. Yep. And first bonfire. It, wow, he's almost dead. Like a third of his HP is gone. There you go. That was the wrong one. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, there you go. There's a gray door near the the elevator. It's not like I can get in there anyway. Oh, he has multiple weapons. He even has a, a great sword. That's cool. I never knew. Uh, I never knew summons had like multiple weapon loadouts. Thank you, Belgar. Thing over here. I guess not. Alright, you have done well, Veliger. I 
I appreciate you not stabbing me in the back this time. Another ember! Nice. Alright, heading back to Firelink. I'm gonna level up real quick and then heading back to the profaned capital. I'm out of coffee. But I have more in the pot. I'll just do what I have to do here first. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Strength. Fire defense, plus two. Already a third of the way to leveling up again. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Let's do some quick inventory management. Put away two of those. Undead Bone Shard, Green Blossoms, some poo. Pale Pine Resin, Rusted Gold Coin, Homeward Bones, uh, Dragon Torso Stone. I guess I'll keep multiple Dragon Torso Stones. And... But all this get me, like, another... No, this isn't going to get me 200,000 souls. Maybe 100,000. Not 200,000 souls. I'll wait on those. Uh, Lightning Gem, Titanite Scale, Twinkling Titanites, Titanite Chunks. I can sell these two. I'll keep the Murakumo. Murakumo. The curved great sword of Alva, seeker of the spurned, specially forged in an eastern land. Sharp but heavy. The sword requires extreme strength and dexterity to wield. The search for the spurned had no end, and so the wayfaring knight warmed to a most deformed weapon. Skill spin slash. Slice into foes with a large spinning motion, and continue spinning to transition into a strong attack. Isn't that what the Exiled Greatsword does? Of it is Silver Serpent Ring plus one. And... Unequip the Lightning Arrows. And Dragon Slayer Lightning Arrows. Okay, okay. Sell some stuff. Ah. Profaned capital. All right, so there's like four things here we have to do. We have to beat the boss. We have to find. Um... The flame stone plate ring, and I'll read the description of that in a moment. We have to find the key. To actually, I think I found the key already. We have to free Onion Bro from his cell, and then the last thing is uh, we need to get the Master Jail Key, which is which is pretty close to his uh, his location anyway. Um, 
so that we can set Carla free. Okay. Let me cast Tears of Denial. Get my focus points back. Make doubly sure I'm equipped with lightning. I am. My lightning great, Mace. All right, let the summonings begin. Bringing in Rutika. Hodra can switch from his shield to Pyromancy Flame too. That's cool. Are we rescuing Onion Bro? Yep. Save the boss for last. We could. It would be nice having some extra help to clear out the, uh, the path back to uh, Carla. Summoning in Beezers. So after this Jans, um, I'm going to warp out um, of the dancer area, because I think after this I'll get warped automatically into the dancer thing. Um, I actually don't have to warp out. I can just choose not to. Well, no. No, I think you can meet me outside. Because once I have the bowl, I have to walk up, uh, I know, to that statue, and then that's when the dancer of the Burrito Valley gets summoned in. Um... So we can all take on the dancer together and we're kind of flying through uh, areas today. So we can also try to get in the nameless king today, which ugh, gives me shivers. Sign should be behind you. Uh, I have to use a uh, dried finger. that helped us kill Aldrich. It was myself and Ghost and Ratika. So let's bring in Jans this time for Yorm. And then it could be Ghost and Let's see. Then it can be... Hey! Let's see, Ghost. Ghost would have helped us kill two bosses. No, one boss. Then it can be Ghost and Jans or Nameless King. All right, yes, welcome in everyone. Welcome back. By our swords and maces, we shall triumph. So yes, we'll pull you in, Ghost, uh, since you already helped with the boss. Uh, for the Nameless King, if that's okay. That's going to be kind of wild. <sighs> hey. Are you going to work right now? Ah, oh, I see. Well, thank you, Ghost, for, for helping us kill uh, Aldrich. Um, oh, but you can take the Nameless King? Oh, you're going to beat York right now. What, York? Oh, Yorm. I see, I see. Congratulations. Uh, well, not congratulations. Good luck in taking down Yorm. I misread that. Sorry. Um, and we shall see you for the Nameless King. Where'd Beezers go? <laughs> York from Deadly Premonition. Every time I read Yorm's boss name, it makes me think of like the uh, the York's peppermint patties. Candies. Oh, we're coming, Jans! I 
I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's what I meant to do. No? I thought there might be another one. Okay, I think we have to get to the swamp area. And then climb the ladder. Um that's attached to a building in order to um, get to the ring that I need to pick up. Uh-oh. Oh, did you fall, Ratika? I think Ratika fell. Don't die, Ratika. These coins? What was a coin? We're above you. Oh no. Is this toxin? I don't remember. Oh yeah, that's toxin. It looks like toxin. Poison doesn't hurt nearly as bad. Watch out the, uh, the sorcerer up there. Oh, hold on. Here, Atika, here. Oh, I almost jumped off. We have a... Uh... Hey! Nice. Yeah, his HP bar is still going. We have uh, some moss for you that'll cure your, your status. There's another one down there if you want to get it. There you go. Oh. Forgot about that one. Yeah, he's still sleeping. I'm not going to bother him. sleeping. I thought breaking that was going to wake him up. Not going to mess with the, the mimic. Leaving that alone. Alright. Let me read where the ring is. Was it? Flamestone plate ring plus one. Flame. Flame. Dear flame. There it is, okay. Located the profane capital. In the area with the toxic swamp, climb up the building's ladder and walk along the curved part of the roof until you see a hole in the wall to your right. Look down directly across from the broken section of the wall to a small ledge to drop onto and the ring will be on a corpse. Okay. So I think I have to go back outside. Oh, you all killed him. Okay, 
onto the curved roof. Walk around. Who's that? Ah, Beezers. Logan scroll. I think that's it right there. Well, maybe. They think these are arrows. Yeah, those are poison arrows. Alright. Beezers is back. I know it's not down here. I mean, we can drop down there, but I know this is the, um... The Wrath of the Gods miracle. Or it should be. Yeah. Alright, let me head back outside. Okay, so climb the ladder. Attach to the building from the swamp. Did that. And then... What does it say to do again? Uh, I'm up the building's ladder and walk along the curved part of the roof until you see a hole in the wall to your right. Okay. This is the curved roof. There's the hole to the right. All right. Um, then look down and directly across from the broken section of wall, and you'll see a small ledge. Oh, I think it wants me here. Ah, here we go. Flame stone plate ring plus one. Yes, we did it. We got it. All right. I'll be back up there soon. Let me just scratch this off the list. Okay. Now. How do I get back up there? I think I'm going to have to fall into the swamp. That's fine. Got the fall ring on already. Oh, yeah, that was a lot closer to the ladder than I thought it was. All right, I'm coming back up. So now we're done with the rings here. Uh... Now we just have to focus on getting the keys and uh, setting Onion Bro free. And then we can try backtracking to free Carla. And then we can beat the boss. Oh, that's right, they're invisible. That I remember. Ah, they're also dead. Very good. The Jailer's Key Ring. Nice. Oh, wait, let me catch up in, in chat here. Ah, because the Jailer got me. Curse the Jailers, yeah. Yeah, I have my my jump button set to L3 as well. I remember when I first started this, I'm like, why is it L3? I'm gonna put it back on circle. And then I did that and I played it for I played with it for a while. I'm like, no. No, the game was right. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back on L3. Forming. This is not it's not a strong suit of mine and souls. Oh, did it! Yes. <laughs> oh, poor Tika. All right. 
right, let's go see Onion Bro. Used old cell key. Covetous gold serpent ring, sell that later. Oh, you are a saint. Close, I'm a cleric. Once again, you are my valiant savior. I, Zygvard of Katarina, express my deepest gratitude. Take this, a token of my thanks. Go on, it's all yours. Titanite slab. Ah, no, please. Go on ahead. I've my own road to take, and a duty to fulfill. That is so. Ah, no, please. I and. <sighs> yes, yes, indeed. Cheers. To Onion Bro. All right. Next stop. Where are we going to go? Um, Carla. Back in the profaned capital. Beezers is killing rats in there. Exterminator. Exterminator Beezers. Oh, wait, can we even... I don't know if we can get back. Can we get back? Is that possible? Oh, yeah, we just have to take fall damage. Unless you have the fall ring. Here. Okay. Now... No, 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 no. That'll go all the way to the beginning. It's faster if we go to, uh, the other way. Then once we set Carla free, we shall run back to the boss area and uh, go fight Yorm. Give it another try. Oh, I made it this time. Oh, they're lightning bolts. That's cool. Sounds like someone in there is doing something violent. No, this is the first... Oh, I went the wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think it's this way. I was right, it wasn't that way. I'm coming! Oh, he died on the ladder. Okay. Oh, there's still killing going on out here.
I'll get the item with the, the cheap scare attached to it. That was really well done. Oh! Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, wow. You got juggled. She's dead. Anyone else want to heal? I don't know if you already have a heal going on. There we go. All right, I'll go set Carla free. Use Jailer's key ring. Oh, there you are. Yes. I thought you'd all but forgotten me. Nope. How sweet. Good to know that a skinny little heretic can still turn heads. Hmm? Oh, you're not one of them, are you? Accept my apologies for mistaking you for one of those leeches. So, what business have you here? This is a land of monstrosities. And I am no exception. Offer help. You're here to save me. I'm guilty. A wretched child of the abyss. I will heal you. Is that something you can forgive? Save her nonetheless. Oh, really? You are no ordinary man. Very well. Besides, I've grown tired of imprisonment. I am Carla. And I accept your proposal. Well, having a forgiving nature is part of being a cleric. Squirmy Duck is here. Good morning, Squirmy Duck. How are you? Welcome on in. All right. Carla has been saved. Ritik is taking a nap. <laughs> Next up, our battle with Yorm the Giant. Five v one as Onion Bro should be joining us. Yes, Ratika defeated Madeir last night. Congratulations again, Ratika. Now oh, we're gonna have to fight the, uh... The Gargoyle again, aren't we? Yep. That was quick. Ah, <sighs> but how are you doing, Scrummy? Oh, did someone fall again? Okay, no, never mind. One of your names popped off my, uh, my screen. So far, Squirmy, we have beaten Aldrich. We have, uh, navigated our way, uh, through the, um, the Irithil Dungeon. And uh, we've cleared out most of the profaned capital. Uh, now we are going to take out, what's his name, uh, Yorm. And then that's it. Uh, we're heading back, well not that's it, but then we're heading back to Firelink. And uh, from there, 
Yeah, I don't remember how to reach Yorm. Uh, from there, we are uh, heading off to the Dancer. Hey! I forgot about the Dancer. After Dancer, we'll do Yorm. I mean, after Dancer, we'll do, um, excuse me, uh, Arch Dragon Peak. Thank you for the GGs. Yeah, Aldrich fell pretty quickly. Oh, do we have to go to the bonfire and out that way? Ah, we do. Ah! What was that? Oh, Ratika's dead. Oh, that's right. I'll summon you again, Ratika. We're still at the bonfire. The, uh, the white jailers, the white clothed jailers down there use their fireball to shoot fireballs at us. That's good, Jans. So I think I have all my, yeah, I do. I have all my, my normal flasks. Okay. This fight should go by pretty quickly. We're gonna have Onion Bro, and he's gonna just hold all the aggro. For the most part, anyway. And then, uh... We'll give him a good wallop. Medex says, Orfeo, everything must die. Well, then let us kill everything. It looks like we have an ad starting in a... Well, you know what? I can probably snooze that. That's what I was waiting for, this guy. the ad. There we go. All right, we have six minutes until the next ad, and then uh, that should give us enough time to take out the uh, the boss. Yom. Oh. I 
even see that there. Thank you. Another ember! <sighs> Embers have been... The, the most common uh, item that I've really enjoyed picking up this playthrough. Since I knew I needed them for multiplayer. Okay. Traversing the fog! So many storm rulers. I shall not be using a storm ruler this time. Markisor, who I hope is doing well. I know he's been streaming other things. Um, he brought that up last time. He's like, oh, you made an exception for your... And I'm like, but you're supposed to use the sword for this fight. And he's like, no, no, you said to only, you would only use hammer, so... This time and every time going forward fighting Yorm, I shall only use my hammers. Have come to uphold my And I later discovered I wasn't even using it right. I was using it like a normal sword, I think, for the most part. I didn't know how to really use a special ability. Charge! of a lord and soul of Yorm the giant. We did it! We are again victorious! Yes! And a sunlight medal. Ah. It seems I am in your debt. Oh, you're forgetting after the coffee. My thanks. I could have not kept my promise without you. Now, for a final toast. Sigbrow. To your valor, and my old friend Yorm. Long oh. may the sun shine. <laughs> well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. You are a true friend. Best of luck with your duty. Thank you, Onion Bro. I will see you again. Thank you for the conga rats, Jans. It was a group effort. Thank you for the GG's, Ratika and Scorby Duck. You don't think there were enough storm rulers, says Beezers. Should have been six more.
and clipped. Thank you, Jans. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Please save his soul. Tell him what he must be a lord. Basin of Vows. I wonder how she died. I didn't kill her. Try Betrayal in short shortcut ahead. All right, we have an ad starting now. I am going to head back to Firelink and then we'll all meet up near the door and we'll fight the dancer together. Old age, that's how she went. Hmm, I guess. Okay, Lothric, Lothric. Archives. Okay, so after this, I guess we are gonna head to the Arch Dragon Peak. And, uh, Havel's Ring plus one is there. Let's see here. From the altar that gives you the Twinkling Dragon Torso Stone, go back down the steps. The ring is to the right of the doorway. Okay, I think I know where that is. <sighs> you helping with the answer? Yes, you could. Let's see, so far, Ratika has helped with Aldrich and Yorm, so that's two bosses. Jans has helped with just the with just Yorm. Beezers has helped with just Yorm. No. Beezers was Beezers, were you there for for Aldrich? No, you weren't. It was Ghost and Ratiga. No, just show me. I thought so. Uh, so, yeah, for dancer, we could have ghost and you want in Squirmy? Ah, uh, Squirmy hasn't unlocked the area for Nameless King yet. Nice. But Squirmy can play through the Grand Archives. Okay, we'll bring in Squirmy for the Dancer. It'll be Dancer. It'll be Dancer. It'll be Squirmy and Ghost. Yeah, it's not a PvP area. So I can summon in one more person. Yes, yeah, so who will it be? Ratika? Or Jans. I'm thinking... I mean... Yeah. Yes? Ratika? Okay. Then that means against, um... Nameless King? It could be... Because Squirmy can't go there yet. It could be... Who? We'll decide that when we get there. But, uh... Let's see here. Let's do some quick inventory management during our break. Uh, put away an ember, Siegbrow, blooming purple moss clumps, encouraging stone, uh, poo, rusted coins, rusted gold coins, sunlight metal. I actually have quite a few things to do here. Titanite Slab. I'll sell Wrath of the Gods. Unequip all the arrows and bolts. I can put it away. More 
poison arrows, Oni Slayer great arrows, lightning bolts, flame stone plate ring plus one. Okay. Level up. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. All right, we'll do faith plus one. Now soul level 200. Uh, hammer attack goes up by one, and dark defense goes up by two. Rio six to level up again. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. All right, I will bib. Welcome back, everyone, from the ads. I'm going to hop off real... Well, not hop off, but I'm going to go refill my coffee cup. And uh, then I'll come back and we'll finish doing some stuff here at Firelink. We'll transpose a soul. Uh, we'll give Carla some books. And we'll get another trophy. We should be getting the trophy for all miracles. We could have got it sooner. But I didn't want to uh, corrupt our dear miracle merchant this time. We kind of did it by accident last time. So I'm saving uh, particularly the Londor Braille Divine Tome for Carla. And, um... Yeah. That'll get us a trophy. So, BRB. Then it will be dancer time.
Okay, we're back. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. While I was up, I used the restroom quickly, so that won't be an issue anytime too soon, and I have a full cup of coffee again. All right. Let's get the earbuds. Okay. We leveled up. Invested another point into increasing the power of our faith. Now we'll sell some excess goodies. Let's see. What do we got here? Wrath of the Gods. Handmaid's Dagger. That's an expensive little dagger. Fort Sorcerer's Staff. Great Shield of Glory. Fort Sorcerer Garb. Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. Dusk Crown Ring. That's it. Ashen One. Hmm? Be sure to bring more souls. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, is there any new dialogue for Grey Rat? Oh, hello, you're back. Yes. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Nothing new. Goodbye. And stay safe. Oh, this place is a bore. What good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? <laughs> All right, Carla. Oh. There you are. As I said, I am Carla. And I'm grateful to you. Now, what shall we do? The only thing that might interest you is my sorcery. Although my dark arts are a detestable sort, that wouldn't interest you, would it? Ask to learn dark sorceries. Hmm. You're a wicked one, aren't you? A wicked little cleric, yes. Very well. Humans are of the dark, and you are no different. Some may avert their eyes, but the truth remains the truth. Mm -hmm. Be careful, though. Few humans are privy to this knowledge. Let it be a secret, kept between you and I. You shall keep it secret, keep it safe. There is one thing that you should know. There is a darkness within man, and I am afraid you will peer into it. Whether the fear will spark self-reflection, or a ruinous nostalgia, is up to you entirely. Fear not. Your choice will bring you no scorn. Hmm. I wonder if that was a reference to Dark Souls 2. Because the Emerald Herald tells the main character that there was a man, who she doesn't name, but it's Vendrick, who looked into the very, what is it, into the very depths of the soul or something like that. And that made him sort of change his ways. Let me scroll up here in chat. Ah, very well. <laughs> Beast is like, I'll take dibs on dragon armor and Lothar. I got no beef with Nameless King. I understand, users. Ghost says, which NPC should I be fighting for a dancer? Um, well, to spawn your own dancer, you have to kill the four lords of Cinder. Orms, no, no, wait. 
No, I'm sorry, I take that back. The three lords of Cinder. The fourth lord is uh, Lorien and Lothric, but you can't fight them yet. But after you fight and kill the third lord, then you should be teleported directly to the, um, back to the high wall of Lothric to receive the bowl. And then when you approach uh, the statue behind the person who gave you the bowl, then that's when you get invaded by the dancer. Oh, Jan says, my game just crashed from trying to purchase black fire bombs from Patches. Trustworthy Patches is branching out in the hijinks. LOL, yep, Souls is breaking the fourth wall. I'm glad your day is going well, Ghost. Okay. There is one thing that you. There is a darkness within man. Whether the. No, same thing. Okay. Let's see. By default, she has affinity and dark edge. But we do not need those. Give. Pyromancy Tome. Oh, we get to choose. Let's do Divine Tomes first. Divine Tome. Uh, the Deep Braille Divine Tome. Oh, is this a Divine Tome? Mm-hmm. What on earth are you thinking? I wouldn't go near a Divine Tome, or any so-called miracle. And casters of miracles are sure to steer clear of me. So please... Don't torture me so. Aww. Sorry. We gotta we gotta ask you to do it. Oh you how could you? Oh I know. I know. I owe my life to you. Fine then. But just this once. I will tell you this tale. But do understand, it will be my first time. I'll have no sniggering should I err. Divine Tome, the Londor Braille Divine Tome. Ah, oh, you. How could you? Oh. I know. I know. I owe my life to you. Fine then. But just this once, I will tell you this tale. I'll have no sniggering should I err. Pyromancy Tale, might as well. Why not? Well, Anna. Oh, the Pyromancy Tale, have we? Quelana, Witch of Isolith. Well, this is a fascinating pyromancy. Very well. If this is your wish, I will unravel the thing the best I can. Besides, it will be nice to play master for once. And Grave Warden. Oh, another pyromancy tome, have we? And one that resonates with the dark. Yes. Well suited to me. <laughs> I may be a heretical sorcerer, but you bring me nothing but pyromancies. Fiendish little lad, you. That is a little weird. She's the only, like, dark spellcaster, but she's specifically a dark sorceress. But we never have any dark sorcery scrolls to give her. It's just pyromancies and, and miracles. Oh, what Ghost meant is what NPC he should be cosplaying for the fight. I see, I see. Whatever you think would work best and be most appropriate for you, Ghost. Learn Dark Sorceries. Alright, we need to buy all three. We need Dark Blade. Which I guess is different from Dark Edge. 
Oh, there it is. Dark Blade. 10,000 souls. Miracle of the Sable Church of Londor. Reinforces right weapon with dark. The third daughter, Lilianne, one of the founders of the Sable Church, is said to recount tales that portray the suffering and conflict of Hollows. Hmm. Then we need Vow of Silence. Oh, from Dark Souls 2. Nice. Was this also in Dark Souls 1? I don't I don't remember. Miracle of the Sable Church of Londor. Prevents spells in vicinity, including one's own. I wonder if it also nullifies buffs. Like, if I cast Tears of Denial, and then I cast Vow of Silence, and then I die, will I not be brought back? Or will, like, the, the icon immediately disappear? I don't know. I also wonder if this works against the Crystal Sage. That would be interesting. Walk into his boss room, cast Vow of Silence, and he can't really do anything. Uh, prevents spells in vicinity, including one's own. Members of the Sable Church are all trained swordsmen, each sworn only to their weapons as they bear the leaden silence of Londor. 15,000 souls. And then I need dead again. Sacrilegious miracle of the Sable Church of Londor. Bless corpses, transforming them into traps. Londor, the Hollow Realm, is a society of undead, comprised of the corpses and shades of those who led unsavory lives. Is such blessing really something one must ponder? 5,000 souls. And trophy earned, Master of Miracles. Yes. All right, scratch that off the list. Okay, so now I just need one sorcery uh, from the soul of the consumed King Osoros. And that's it. Yeah, all gestures have been learned. All miracles have been learned. All pyromancies have been learned. I just need, uh... The Consumed King Osiris to learn all sorceries. Very, very cool. Okay. And we might even get that today, who knows? Like, we're flying through these areas. Thank you for the congrats, Squirmy. Thank you for the congrats, Jans. Thank you for the very nice Ratika. Do stay safe. Okay, now let's see what we can transpose the soul of Yorm into. Last time... We got a weapon. Oh, we got Yorm's Great Machete the last time we transposed his soul. Aha, thou returned, and a fine day it is. So, happened upon any twisted souls? There's his Great Machete. Yorm's Great Shield. 40 strength. Great Shield used long ago by Yorm the Giant. Increases the user's poise. As a lord, Yorm risked everything and fought unflinchingly as a one-man vanguard. Following the loss of the one who wished to protect, he forsook his shield. Hmm, wonder who that one was. Skill Shield Bash. Without lowering your guard, strike the enemy with a shield to knock them back or stagger them. Works while equipped in either hand. Okay. Treat the firekeeper not with discourtesy. She is much like me. Prisoners both kept to link the fire. Is that your dialogue? Aha, that's it. Ah. Most illustrious Lord Seeker, 
or should I say, Lord Slayer? Fine kindling for the thrones, is it not? Each soul truly worthy of lordship. And all slain by thy hand, to bind them to their thrones, even in death. Oh, I have no qualms, for as we are to our thrones, thou art to thy duty. In fact, methinks thou hast helped these poor lords along their rightful path. Now, now, do not be away over long. All right, let us return the uh, cinders of Yorm to his throne. And I think I also want to take a look at those three miracles we just bought, because I have an empty miracle slot, uh, an empty attunement slot, because I didn't feel like there was anything better that I could equip. But maybe now I can. Maybe now I actually have something worth equipping. Uh, for cinders of a lord. His big crowned head. Oh, also, I forgot about this. We sort of completed our ceremony uh, at the end of last stream. But I never talked to Yuri afterwards to see uh, if she's got a new dialogue for us. I presume thy holy vows are sworn. Wonderful. Now thou art the true and deserving Lord of Hollows. With the spouse, the strength to claim the fire is thine. Thy lordship, I prithee wrest the fire from its mantle. I, Uria, and all Londor embrace thy impending lordship. Our lord and liege, I prithee, play the usurper. When the moment cometh to link the fire, wrest it from its mantle. The age of fire was founded by the old gods sustained by the linking of the fire. But the gods are no more, and the all-powerful fire deserveth a new heir. Our Lord of Hollows, it shall be who weareth the true face of mankind. Our Lord and me, I prithee, when the aid of the gods are. Interesting. Be safe, our Lord and liege. I prithee, rest the flame from its mantle. new game plus rings plus one rings remain i will check i want to oh ah there you are unkindled one i am pleased to have a pupil as dedicated as you <laughs> uh let's see we have havel's ring plus one at arch dragon peak we have the Life Ring plus two within Lothric Castle. The Dark Stone Plate Ring plus one within uh, Lothric Castle. The Ring of Steel Protection plus one uh, at the Untended Graves. So that's four. And then we have the Sage Ring plus one within the Archives. So five rings. Sage Ring is at the Archives. That's a pretty appropriate place for it to be. I forgot about the Archives. Out of all the locations in the game, I think the Archives is my least favorite place. The Irithel Dungeon is the spookiest place. But the, uh... The Archives is my least favorite place. All those Thrall uh, ready to slice you up. 
Let's see. Great Swamp Pyromancy. Yes, here we are. It's been long indeed. With this, I can teach you more sophisticated pyromancies. Splendid. I can boast I am your tutor a little longer. <laughs> and Isaac. Ah, what have we here? A pyromancy tome from Isolith. Then you found the home of pyromancy. Brilliant. I will never curse being old and undead again. Now, now, show it here, quickly. Let us channel them together. The primal pyromancy is known only to old Master Salaman. Heed my words, unkindled one. Fear the fire. The home of pyromancy, Isolith, was scorched by the very fire it created. Undoubtedly, it was a flame of chaos, tangled by a witch's hand. But who's to say that this bonfire's flame is any different? Do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? <laughs> All right, I want to talk to our miracle merchant for just a bit of lore, and then I'll head back. Actually, then I'll I'll check out the um, the new miracles I got. Oh, champion of Ash, welcome back. Do you wish to hear a tale? You only have to ask. You know, in my home of Karim, nope. I would be, although to be, but if I had, oh, terribly sorry. Have a pleasant journey, champion of Ash. Okay, and let me reference, let's see, Yorm is done, Dancer is next. Dancer is weak to lightning, she's weak to dark, and she is weak to uh, blunt weaponry, or strike damage. So what did I say, lightning and dark? Lightning and dark, okay, so I'll just, I'll continue to use my lightning great mace then okay so I do do I want to use any of these reinforce right weapon with dark I don't think any of my weapons can. Actually, no. Maybe I could reinforce Morn's hammer with dark. No, I don't feel I'd use that though. Dead again? I wouldn't use that. Vow silence though. I might just use that. No, nope, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, why do you have to do this to me? Why? It requires two attunement slots. That hurts. So I guess that means it's situational. I'll probably only use it uh, in the boss fight against the Crystal Sage. I don't know what other boss I would use it against. What other boss uses magic extensively? Maybe against Soul of Cinder? about all I can think of, though. All right, Squirmy. <laughs> I guess I'll just stay with these three miracles. Actually, you know what? I will do one more. Hold on. Doris gnawing. 
a miracle dog. Since I had to use this anyway against the uh, king. Okay. Traveling to... Where am I traveling? High wall. And... Vort. I'll just run from there. Okay. Basin of Vows. Place Basin at a statue of a beheading knight. Chalice used in ceremony in which Lothric knights take their vows. It is only a formality now, but it remains as an empty practice. Place this basin at a statue of a beheading knight. Oh, I forgot to give her the Xanthus ashes. I'll do that later. Oh, and I forgot to give the coal to the smith. I'll do that later as well. I like this little effect here. Now that the doors are open because we beat, uh... Velstat. What is it? No, Velstat. That's Dark Souls 2 boss. Um, once we, now that we beat Vort, uh, the wind is kind of, uh... Gusting through a little bit. And my, uh, my cloak there is billowing in the wind. That's cool. I like that. That's a cool effect. Okay. Tears of Denial. Get back my focus points. And I'm heading to the boss door now. Alright, so who will be joining me at the boss door for the dancer? Excuse me. Take a tinkle. All right, it'll be squirmy and ghost. And who else? There's squirmy. I think that's ghost. I'm not sure who that is. Hmm. All right, summoning in Squirmy Duck. Squirmy Ghost and Ratika. All right. Oh, it might be Beezers, actually. Rattlap. Summoning in Ghost. Ah, it is Ratika. Very well. That's right. Beezers wants uh, Dragon Armor. And... Was there someone else Beezers mentioned? Uh, dragon armor and Lothric. You are a brave soul. Okay. And then... Dried finger. Summoning in Ratika. All right. 
right. Welcome on in, everyone. Thank you all for being here. All right. Let's dance. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your past behind. Because you'll be hollow and you won't remember it anyway. Wait, since the door is closed, you can still come in, right? Yes, okay. Scary lady. She grabbed me. Put me down. But she put me down, all right. Oh! Did Squirmy just die? Squirmy just died. Oh, that's not good. Sorry, Squirmy. Everyone, well done. Thank you for the Congo Ratch Jans. She one hit KO grabbed you. Yeah, that almost happened to me. That's a strong grab attack. It's because you stole their clothes. <laughs> It'd be. All right. Play space.
right. BRB, gotta look after the... After your kids, after your little lizards. Very well, Squirmy. You wish there were this many helpers for Dark Souls too. Imagine a full armada against Lud and Zalan. That would be cool. Ladder sounds as heavy as Smoog's hammer. It does. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that. Someone just got. Someone else just got grabbed over there. Good luck, you two. All right. I guess let's head on back to uh, Firelink now. See what we can transpose the soul of the dancer into. I forget what we got the last time. Uh, a little kick. Aha, thou art returned, and a fine day it is. So, happened upon any twisted souls? Oh, I know what we got. We got Soothing Miracle, because we have all miracles. So that's what we got last time. Alright, what else is there? Oh, Dancers Enchanted Swords. Are these the swords you were using, Squirmy? Paired enchanted swords that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. These blades, symbolic of the Dancer's vows, are enchanted by dark magic in the right hand and fire in the left, mirroring the Pontiff. Skill, Dancer's Grace. Unleash the fury of both blades in a dancing spin motion and use strong attack to continue the performance until stamina is exhausted. That sounds cool. Okay, Sunlight Metal. Dancer's Enchanted Swords. Yorm's Great Shield, forgot about that one. Anything else to drop off? No? Okay. Alrighty. Next up, Arch Dragon Peak. Ah, Fuday's here. Hello, Fuday. How are you doing? And Pro Gamer here. Fuday, we are doing pretty well here. We are uh, making some good progress in our new game plus playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Uh, we just beat the Dancer of the Boreal Valley, and you may remember what that means. That means we have three of the four Lords of Cinder that must be slain. Excuse me. Aldrich is done. Uh, Yorm is done, and the Abyss Watchers are done. So we just need Lorien, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, we're about to head to the Arch Dragon Peak. Uh, I'm going to try to just see if I can run through the first part of it and uh, solo the Ancient Wyvern, because all you really have to do is just get past all the enemies alive and uh, plunge attack its head for a one-hit KO. But then after that is the Nameless King, and I will be inviting some folks in for that. Um, and then from there, we'll see what happens. Uh, I guess after that would be Lothric Castle. Okay. But how are you doing, Food Day? Off we go to watch Dragon Peak. And let's see here. Havel's Ring plus one is at Arch Dragon Peak. Havel's Ring plus one. Ooh, almost dropped my controller there. And, uh... Hmm. 
the altar that gives you the twinkling torso stone. To the right of the doorway. I think this is the bonfire that's right before Nameless King. I think that's what they're talking about. Okay. <sighs> Sign is already there. All right. Once I get there, I will summon you all in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Tears of denial. Okay. So remind me who is joining for the Nameless King. The sign's already there? Okay. I will see you there. Um, his head looks exactly the same. Oh, we're in the wrong way. As the uh, the great dragon shield. Yeah, and kill them all for me. Thank you. Yes, yeah, just make sure they're there. We go. There you go. That's what I wanted. I appreciate that. Okay. There should be some ambushers right up here. Excuse me. Oh, I didn't even see him. Excuse me. Trying to get through. Nope. Now, now. Calm down. That's not nice. Yes, I shall meet you all here at the mausoleum. Oh, they're all coming in here. That's funny. It's like they're all still looking for me. All right. 
I'm going to travel back real quick to Firelink to level up, and then I'll be back. You know, it's interesting. I think the hardest boss, for me anyway, in all of Souls, is in Dark Souls 3. And that would have to be the Demon Prince. But the easiest boss in all of Souls is also in Dark Souls 3, and that's the Ancient Women, because all you have to do is just a single plunging attack. It doesn't, I don't think it even matters how strong you are, it's just it one-shots them every time. I could be wrong about the, the, the one-shot every time, but I mean, it feels that way. You can miss the plunge, though. You can. That's why you you take your time. You creep to the edge, and then you you drop off when you think you are ready. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. You have to run all the way back around. Yeah, and that's if you survive the fall, because depending on how successful you are at getting past all the mobs. You may have taken quite a bit of damage and maybe even run out of Estus by that time. And depending on what your health is, if you miss the plunging attack, the fall could kill you. Very well. Then Bro. touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Alrighty, what's next? More strength. Okay, hammer attack increases by one, and our fire defense increases by one. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to make a little adjustment here. The same adjustment I made uh, when I fought ah, well, the Nameless King the first time. See ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? Oh, that's right. I'll give you the coal. Giant's coal. My, my. The coal of that peaceable giant. Seems like ages past. I imagine his passing was long ago. I miss the old bugger right do. My thanks. I'll be sure this coal is put to good use. I'll be smithing weapons never afore seen by the likes of ye. It's but a small service to pay my humble respects. <laughs> nope. There we go. Oh, but it's New Game Plus now, though. But I'm gonna have help. Okay. We'll leave it. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> We'll turn in the ashes, the Xanthus ashes I forgot about earlier. Ah, well met, Ashen One. How may I be of service? Gracious, passing fine ash thou'st given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> Oh, no new embers. That's really what I was hoping for. Ashen One, be sure to bring moose. Okay, back to Mausoleum Bonfire. We'll all go from there. Welcome on in, Indy. How are you doing?
You missed yesterday. How is the last of Souls 3 going? It's going well. Uh, indeed, it's going well. We've Today, we've already taken out a few bosses. Um, let's see. We took out... Aldrich, Devourer of Gods. He's a very frightful foe. Yorm the Giant, the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Um, the Ancient Wyvern. A Deep Accursed. And now we're about to, f about to fight one of the hardest enemies in the base game called the Nameless King and the dragon upon which he rides. I think his name is the Storm King. Uh, but how are you doing, Indy? All solo or with help? With help. I like to offer, open up a new game plus to everyone to, to come in and have fun together. Lorelai says, hey, Orfeo, I'm going to head out. I'm going to spend time with my boyfriend. Aw, that's nice, Lorelai. I'll come back when I... Okay, Lorelai. I wish you a safe journey, and uh, I hope you and your boyfriend have fun. Alrighty. Let's cast Tears of Denial. Get back my focus points. I see two summoning signs. Anyone else coming? Praise the light. Do it. Do I have it equipped? I do. Ratika. And Jans. much harder to see white signs. Yours was there. Fun fact, you get summoned as if you had your full resources. So if you're out of flasks and then you're summoned, you get all your flasks back. Oh, that's cool. Are we going to have to fight Havel? Are you already fighting Havel? That was ghost in the armor. <laughs> I was like, who, what's going on here? Who's attacking who? All right. Let's see here. I saw you hiding in there. Right. Oh. Nice. Nicely done there. Is there anything up here?
I think it's just an item, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Got that already. I'm coming. Yeah, that's where the where uh, one of the phantom summon signs is. Tight night scales. I can't summon him though. No, oh, it's the Rollies. Alright, so what are we gonna do about the uh the ancient wyvern over here? Are we gonna try to fight it or just run? This. this thing looks tanky. dead though too. We did it! Titanite chunks, Titanite scales, and twinkling Titanites. Nice. <sighs> oh, you rolled off the map? I thought it like actually killed you. All right, we can go back for Jans to the uh, the other bonfire. That way he doesn't have to run all the way uh, by here in his version of the game. Yeah, I'm coming to get you, Jans. Oh, actually, there's a bonfire over there. That's right. I can just meet you at the bonfire, the, the other bonfire. Man ahead, yeah. It just occurred to me. I wonder what's in there. Fire was right here. Oh no. This is where Havel is? Oh, so Rykard's not here? Is this a change in the game? weird. In standard new game, I fought Havel like all the way back near uh, near the other area. Like near the Dragon Mausoleum Bonfire.
Oh, you do have to fight your way over here? Oh, I could have gone back to get your chance. You want me to? I think Ghost just died. Yep. Ghost just died. <laughs> There's a chance Summoner will summon the Havel Knight? Oh. All right, what I could do... Oh boy. Is we could all go to our own worlds and I can summon you all back and then I can also rest at the bonfire. And uh, that way I'll be able to get all of my Estus Flasks back. And that way we could do a completely clean run into the boss arena for um, the dragon guy. Oh, I thought that was an item. For the Nameless King. Nope, that's an ember. What's this? Pointless ahead. I want to try to get Havel's ring. It should be somewhere nearby. Soul of a great champion. Let's see if I can get that real quick. So this here, uh, that leads to the platform where you can get the uh, the crystal dragon piece, I think. Havel's ring. Um, from the altar that gives you the twinkling dragon torso stone, go back down the steps. The ring is to the right of the doorway. So that means for me, it should be to the left of the doorway. Nope, that's not it. Uh-oh. Ah! Okay, okay. So it's not that way. I wonder where it is then. Maybe they mean the other, the other way. Here? Nope, not there. Is it over here? Nope. That's not nice of you. I'm stuck. I'm dead. What am I looking for? I'm looking for Havel's ring plus one. I believe it's supposed to be very nearby here. It might be further up. there, maybe.
Will they leave me alone if I run all the way up here? Did they all just run off the edge? They were scared of the other ancient women. Is that Medir? Not Medir. Is that Ptolemy? From Dark Souls 1? Kind of looks like him. Oh, they're still there. Is it over here? Yes, that's it. Havel's ring plus one. I got it. And I'm keeping my souls. Bonfire last rested at. Okay, okay, okay. Jen says, no, I wish it would connect, you would connect it to Elden Ring. Okay. Okay. All rings here have been acquired. Everything at the profaned capital is also done. Okay. Quick review. Nameless King is weak to fire and dark. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So let me toggle over to my fire hammer in case I need to resort to melee. Tears of denial. Rest. And what are we putting away here? Dragon headstone. That's pretty. Titanite scales. Twinkling titanites. Titanite chunks. Mm, no. Havel's ring plus one. Okay. Oh. And I guess we can put away an ember. <sighs> Alright. Are you all ready? Are you ready to be summoned in for the fight against the Storm King and the Nameless King? The real demon soul starts here. Oh, I'm not embered. I'm like, where are the summon signs? That's right, I died. There we go. All right. Summoning back in Ratika. Actually, hold on. Here. The Nameless King is weak to fire, but I think the summoning in ghost, uh, the King of Storms we fight first is actually weak to frost. So let me equip Vort's a great hammer. I think that's what I used the first time. 
to fight him as well. Okay. Dry finger. Summoning Jans. Good luck to us all! King is already dead. Oh. We are squirmy. <laughs> Prepare to die. Not me. I'm using the same strat I did last time. I am keeping my range, and I am just casting some uh, dark miracles at him. Oh! I turned the wrong direction. The camera flipped on me. effective the strat's actually going to be anymore because now he's flying around the arena
Fearless King and the Storm King. Air of Fire destroyed. We are victorious! Oh. Oh, you died, Ratika? I thought I saw you there at the end. Unless you're just being funny. Thank you for the GG's, everyone. Again, it was a group effort. Sunlight Metal. Yes, my thanks. We were indeed victorious! Okay, bonfire. Nice. Good job, yes, good job to one and all. Thank you. Thank you for the Congo Rats, Jans. Another tight night slab. And then I think further down on the left is the full set of uh, Ornstein's armor. That's so cool to see that the blood stains there in the air. Oh, and there's his weapon right there at the gate. I wonder what happened to Ornstein when he came here to talk to the uh, the king. It seems like he died here if his armor and his weapon are here. But I wouldn't think that uh, the Nameless King killed him because they were supposed to be friends. Maybe something else here killed him? I don't know. Or maybe he came here and saw the Storm King, the dragon, that Nameless King rides, and he tried to kill it. And then the Nameless King, like, jumped in to defend his dragon, and I guess that's when they fought. Where are we going now? Good question. Uh, definitely going back to Firelink. Drop some stuff off, see what we can transpose the soul of the king into. And then we'll have a look-see at where we might go next. Though I think we can really only go one place. Which is Lothric Castle. Okay. Let's see here. Sunlight metal. Titanite slab. Okay. I think once I sell the excess gear that I have, I can level up again. Ah, well met, Ashen One. How may I be of service? That's right, I got the Umbral Ash. Dragon Chaser's Ashes. Gracious. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash be stone nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> yes! More embers. Oh, that's what I was thinking of earlier. I said uh, on other streams before that if one day the day ever came where I actually had children, I would name the boys Dante and Virgil after Devil May Cry. But I've always said, like, I, I don't have, like, a name picked for a girl. 
I never have. Now I think I do. Ember. Not Amber. Ember. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of unique. Still sounds pretty. All right. Um, is that everything? Yeah, okay. Ashen one, be sure to bring more souls. Oh, I forgot. I handed her the ash, I bought some embers, and I totally forgot to sell her the, uh, the excess gear. Oh, how? Okay. Large Titanite Shard. Drake Blood Greatsword. Dragon Tooth. Dragon Slayer Spear. Avil's Great Shield. Dragon Slayer Helm. Armor. Gauntlets. Leggings. And Thunderstone Plate Ring. Ashen One. Be sure mm -hmm. to bring most. 281,000 souls left. Let's drop off our five extra embers. Let's see. Fading soul. That didn't do much. What do I need to level up? 310. I think we can do that. Soul of an Unknown Traveler. Seasoned Warrior. And we're getting there. An Old Hand. That's it. Is that it? 310. I'm 22 souls short. I guess I'll use one. Defense plus one and dark defense plus one. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Okay. So, where are we going next and what are we going to fight? something here. Do I have to fight Champion Gundir alone? Does anyone know? No, 
okay, so I can summon help for champion. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Lightning. What is that? Oh, the soul of the Nameless King. I totally forgot about that. What do I have from the Nameless King? What did I get last time? I know what I got last time. I got his Lightning Miracle. That I was quite excited for. And then I used it. And I'm like, no... Not really that good. A hot dog returned, and a fine day it is. So, happened upon any twisted souls? Yeah, lightning storm. What else can we get? Oh! You can get three different things with a soul. Interesting. All right, so there's Storm Curved Sword from his dragon, or the Dragon Slayer Sword Spear from the Nameless. Huh? Let's go with uh, the Storm Curved Sword, I guess. Five thousand souls. Curved Sword imbued with the strength of the Storm Drake. The Nameless King, ally to the ancient dragons, fought beside the Storm Drake in countless battles. When the great beast fell, the king claimed his soul, as was the custom in the Age of Gods. Skill Tornado. Imbue Blade with the Wrath of Storm in a spinning motion, and follow with a strong attack to bear that wrath upon foes. That sounds cool. Treat the firekeeper not with discourtesy. She is much like thee. Prisoners both kept to link the fire. Okay. Alright, let's see what else is going on here. I'm having a look real quick through the rest of the guide. I feel like we're done with the guide.
Okay. Yeah. We're done with the guide. The only thing I have to remember to do is when we fight the soul of Cinder, I have to have one space left open. Uh, and I can use that to summon Yuria and she'll fight alongside us. And then afterwards, I can return to the Firelink Shrine. Uh, it looks like to retrieve her black armor set and the Dark Drift, her weapon. Which is the uh, the katana from Dark Souls 2. Okay. So that's it for that. And, uh... What other locations are left? Lothric Castle. The boss fight against Osiris, the Consumed King. That leads into the Untended Graves. Uh, for the boss fight with the champion Gundir. Um, we don't even have to go beyond Champion Gundir's bonfire. We can just leave. There's no point in, in going into the uh, the further area, so far as I'm aware. Uh, actually, I have to check to see if there's any rings. But, um... Let's see here. Okay. Um... Then there's the Archives, and the boss fight with the other Crystal Sage. Then there is... Um... Then there's the boss fight with Lorien and Lothric, the Twin Princes. And then Soul of Cinder. That's it. Hmm... No, 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 I was wrong. My mistake. There's also the Dragon Slayer armor. Okay. So that's one, two, three. Four. Five bosses left. Okay. Now, how many bosses did we take out today? Aldrich, Yorm, Dancer. Nameless King. Technically also a Storm King, but I know it's just one encounter. Uh, so we take out four today. Alright, I think what we're gonna do... We've been going for just over four hours. I think we might just call it here. And then that means Thursday of next week? Uh... We can either beat the game... The base campaign. Uh, or we can get pretty close. We knocked out four bosses this time, and it didn't take us very long at all. Uh, roughly like one boss per hour. We can probably do the same next time. Now, I know some of the, the airs are a bit longer. Like, Anorlanda was really short. Um... The archives can be a bit confusing, especially since we might have to. I think there's one ring we need in the archives. And I'm not sure where that is yet. Um, Dragon Slayer armors, I'll, I think he'll be pretty easy. Uh, Consumed King Osiris was very easy when I fought him in standard uh, new game. Uh, twin Princes, that worries me a little bit. Uh, but we do have a shortcut, uh, should we... We lose out on that boss fight. Um, I don't think Soul of Cinder is going to be that bad. So the only encounter I'm actually worried about that's left are the Twin Princes. What about the DLC? The DLC we will do after we beat the main campaign. So I know in our first playthrough in Standard New Game, uh, we got all the way up to the final boss of the main campaign. We held off. 
we went and did all of DLC 1, then all of DLC 2, then we returned to the main campaign, and uh, we beat the, the main campaign's final boss. But I think we're going to do things a bit differently here in New Game Plus. Um, it was cool to do that, and I don't regret doing that at all in Standard New Game. But it did make the final boss of the main campaign a little anticlimactic, because while he was a really cool boss, uh, he was not nearly as hard to beat as Medir or as uh, Gale or the Demon Prince. Uh, and so having gone through those much harder DLC bosses, or even Sister Frida, uh, and then returning to Soul of Cinder, it, it didn't feel like... It didn't feel that that special. I don't know if that that makes sense. It was cool in Phase 2 seeing him use Lord Gwyn's moves and hearing the Plin Plin Plon music. But uh, outside of that, he was kind of a pushover. Um, I don't even think he compares to the Twin Princes. Uh, but yeah. So Thursday, we'll see if we can beat the main campaign. And then Friday... The goal, I think the goal on Friday would just be to knock out all of DLC 1. Because there's only two bosses in DLC. Uh, Grave Tender and his Great Wolf. And uh, Sister Friday, three-phase boss fight. That'll be interesting. And then Saturday of next week, we could, tr <laughs> we could try to knock out all of DLC 2. So that would be Demon Prince. That would be Gale. That would be Medir, and that would be Spears of the Church. And we'll also probably throw in Shira in there as well as like an optional boss. Um, we can fight her before we fight Gale. And I think that's it. Beezer says twin princes are easy. Pfft. Took me like a day and a half on normal mode to beat them. For me, they were rough. All right. But yes, I think we're going to conclude it uh, for the day. But let me say thank you to everyone. Uh, thank you for Ghost Up, and thank you to Jans, and thank you to Ratika, and thank you to Squirmy Duck for. Uh, jumping into the game. Thank you to Beezers as well for jumping into the game and helping me clear out some areas here in New Game Plus and beating some fun bosses. Uh, always lots of fun. Uh, Sozing with the squad. And also thank you to those who popped in and said hello. Thank you to Foo Day and Lady Nilafar. Let's see here. Who else was in here that made their presence known? Did I say food day? Lorelei. Thank you, Lorelei, for being here. I hope you're having a lovely evening. And thank you also to the Lurkers. I hope you had fun as well. Also, thank you to Indy for stopping in. And, uh, yeah. I will see you all, uh, next Thursday when the goal in Dark Souls 3 will be to beat the main campaign. Five bosses. I think we can do it. So I think first we'll we'll hit up um, the Consumed King Osoros because the path to him is very very short. It's dangerous, <laughs> but it is quick to get to. Um, then yeah, then Untended Graves to uh, Champion Gundir, and then we'll leave from there. Return to Lothar Castle. Uh, fight our way. Uh, over to the dragon armor boss. And then from there, I guess it's up through the archives. Kill the crystal sage. Kind of forgot about him. He's sort of a boss. Um, so I guess it's kind of like six bosses, really. Then um, the twin princes. And then soul of cinder. That'll be it. Grimmie says, I'll be working on my first Dark Souls stream. So probably the second and third, I'll be able to come in. 
All right, Squirmy Duck. I appreciate you whenever you are able to join. But yes, thank you again, everyone. It has been fun. And I will see you again soon. If I don't see you, or rather, if, uh, if you want to see me before next Thursday, you can. We'll be here on Monday uh, for the Monday Mishmash with more Yakuza Zero. And uh, we'll be trying to scoop up all of the Gambling King's properties. And uh, this Wednesday, we'll be having a Just Chatting stream. And I'll talk about how I think we might not replace, but uh, augment our Wednesday stream. Give it a bit more length, a bit more, flesh it out with a bit more content. But yes, thank you again, everyone. I'll be back out here. And let me remember to turn this down. There we go. And I'll actually be able to hear for the very first time the boss music of the Twin Princes. Because last time I think I forgot to turn on the boss music while we were while I was fighting the Twin Princes. So I missed the epicness. Alrighty. Yes. See you all again soon. Bye.